Welcome to the Spoop Squad, the podcast that watches horror films that go flop in the night. I am your spoopy host, Jared, and I'm here with... I'm Nick. And I'm Johnny Knoxville, and this is Spoop Squad. <laughs> <laughs> that, for everybody who doesn't know, is Nathan. Nathan, I'm, it's everybody's first time. I'm Nathan Knoxville. <laughs> <laughs> this is Spoop Squad. <laughs> All right, so tonight we watched Tragedy Girls. This movie is from 2017. Uh, it is listed as a comedy crime horror. So the rating is a 6.0 out of 10. Bam! On IMDb. I f- we fucking have Emerald in here or something. Emerald <laughs> Lagasse, <laughs> Jesus. Bam! All right, Nick, you had like a special tagline or something. Friends who slay together stay together. That's the best I could have ever <laughs> imagined you reading that. Have you thought about doing voiceover work? <laughs> uh, no, but you know now I think with y'all's support, I think that I should give it a shot. Okay. All right, what's that synopsis then? So this is one run-on sentence, so I'm going to attempt to get through this on one breath. A twist on the slasher genre following two death-obsessed teenage girls who use their online show about real-life tragedies to send their small Midwestern town into a frenzy and cement their legacy as modern horror legends. You did it. Yeah. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Thanks, guys. I just You did I say twist. That. But other than that, it was good. <laughs> did, I, did I say twist? Okay, let's do it again. Twist. You want to lead me back in twist? No, no. What a twist. What a twist. <laughs> no. No, I don't no. want to lead you back in twist. We're into good. It. Uh, Nathan, why don't you go ahead and give us your one good thing? Oh, my one good thing is most definitely that the guy that plays Jordan, toward the end of the movie, I realized that he looks like a young Johnny Knoxville, <laughs> <laughs> and it gave me endless joy through the rest of the movie. I don't know, though. It, it seemed like he was about as old as Johnny Knoxville. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. He did look as old as Johnny Knoxville. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, no, that's that's my one good thing. Uh, Nick, what's your one good thing? I like the fact that this is like a buddy comedy. Like, they're like, it's just about them and their friendship, which is obviously a very fucked up friendship. It's a very fucked up friendship. But, yes. like, I thought that was kind of a cool, I don't know, it was a cool twist. I haven't seen anything like that. So, it's kind of Heathers y. Yeah, a little bit. All right, Jared, what's your one good thing? My one good thing is definitely that both the girl who played Michaela and the girl who played Sadie are both in the X Men universe. Wait, what? Oh my God! The girl that plays Sadie is Jubilee. The girl Not who, Jubilee. No. She, she's a. Uh, the girl the, who plays Sadie was in Deadpool. Yes, she's a. Uh, what's what's that girl's name? Make it sound a teenage warhead. Yeah, there but you go. Stripped up a little bit through <laughs> that, but. No, it's close enough. Negasonic. Mm-hmm. And then Michaela is Storm in X Men Apocalypse. Shut up. Also, did you know that uh, the guy that played Jordan and Cool Toby that rode a motorcycle were both in Hunger Games? Cool Toby is Josh Hutcherson. Hutcherson? Is that his name? I don't know. Fuck it, it is now. All right, Nick. Give us that kill breakdown. So we have 10 kills. That's a lot. Woo! It's a slasher. It's on the high side for our show. It is, actually, yeah. It's pretty impressive. Good job, Tragedy Girls. So number one, Craig is making out in the car, and he gets a machete in the face when he steps out. But that's not what killed him, though. That's actually... Well, that's fair. I mean, yeah. it is ultimately what killed him. He was going to die regardless. But you're right. Not necessarily. There was no help coming for him. He was in a in like a fucking like warehouse with them. Yes. Yeah, but the what killed him was uh, suffocation. Yeah, I mean that's mm-hmm. what finally did it. Regardless, Ulti- either way, once he was hit in the face with his machete, he was going to die. I mean, not necessarily. People have survived on weird things. So, people have survived jumping with out of an airplane. Medical and they're... attention. Yeah, Peggy Hill. <laughs> I do remember hearing about that. She was in Texas, right? Yeah, up in yeah. up in Arlen. Okay. All right. Nice. I think they did a show about it on Fox. Yeah, it yeah, was. Uh, it was animated. It was Fox. Oh, Let's get through this. Actually, Kill breakdown. It was actually Fox News. Um, <laughs> so that's how you know it's true. That's how you know it's reliable. Uh, um, Fair and balanced. Number two, Toby uh, gets road rash and then gets stabbed a bunch in the chest. Well, he gets stabbed a lot in the stomach. Well, they're yeah. attempting then, to get his heart. Yeah, but it seemed like Sadie was just stabbing him in the stomach. Well, yeah, and, and then Michaela it all was yeah. like, and then Michaela, hey, let me come do this for you because I know what I'm doing. Yeah, sort of. I know where the heart is. Yeah, but I mean, you know, it was in the, it was in the torso. 
Where the Heart Is is a different movie altogether. <laughs> uh, and then, number three, Sill, uh, gets strung up by a chain and then dangles into a saw. Yeah, her head hits the uh, the table saw blade. Yeah, mm-hmm. which this one's probably my favorite one. It was actually really fun, but they were like, no one's going to believe that wasn't an <laughs> <Yeah>. accident. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you, really? <laughs> so they're like, hey, just cut her up and then uh, throw her body parts around so it could never look like she did this to herself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number four was Big Al, which was Craig Robinson. Yeah, very small role in this movie, but he's good. Yeah, he was His great. death was excellent. Yeah, uh, he gets into a fight with the girls in the gym and then gets stabbed in the chest and then they drop the weights on him. Yeah, like a <laughs> yeah. like a bench press. Yeah, and it cuts his head it, like in half, like the top of his head. Yeah, it, yeah. D- it smushes brain. God damn it, you're good at math, Nick. <laughs> it smushes I mean, brain. I guess like it was like, like what, the top quarter of his head? Two yeah. fifths? Maybe. It was, just, it was just not half. Yeah, Maybe that's less. That's fine, it's true. It smushes brain. Uh, And then number five, Mayor Campbell gets impaled on a streetlight somehow yeah she's impaled like vlad the impaler yeah like 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 in her butthole out her mouth mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i don't know how that happened yeah because there's definitely like the other part of the street light that comes up and hangs over the fucking street so i'm not really sure how that happened but it was fun obviously this guy is an artist yeah he's fucking good yep could be a flagpole and she's then, a flagpole sitter uh let's see <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Jared made a song reference, so that's that's pretty special. Uh, and then later at prom, Miss Kent goes outside just trying to have a little smoke and uh, a little she, smoky treat. She gets her uh, she gets stabbed through the back, and then she gets her throat cut, mm-hmm. which was really good effects. I really liked it. Now most of this is pretty good effects. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> Solid contribution, <laughs> man. Nailed it. <laughs> For number eight, we have Lowell, the serial killer, uh, that they abducted to k- help them out with everything. Uh, he gets just shot in the head by Michaela. It wasn't that. That's disappointing, but the next kill is excellent. Yeah. And then Jay, or Jordan. No, I don't remember. Nobody call called him Jay absolute, except for once. Yeah, they called him once. Jay. And that was uh, Sadie's name for him. One it was time. his pet name. And I felt really connected to the character, so I wanted to call him Jay. For Johnny Knoxville. So it's Jay. So Jay is not going to let Sadie protect Michaela because it's been revealed that they were the ones doing all the murders and stuff. Yes. Also, it was revealed and he overheard that Sadie yeah. was the one that killed his mother. Yeah. And they just kind of glossed over that a little bit. Yeah, yeah. He acted like it was Michaela. Yeah. So then Sadie pushes him like she like wraps a rope around his neck and then pushes him off of this like ledge and watches him slowly die. Yeah. yeah. Number 10. The entire graduating class gets burned alive, and it was 121 students. Yeah. Well, I think it was junior and senior class, right? Because most problems are junior, seniors. No. No. Because there were juniors that were involved with the prom committee. Oh, that's fair. So, yeah, so junior and senior prom. Um, but it was only like 124 people. Yeah. So, But Nick did forget one death, and that was the death of dance. From that girl with the glasses, who God was damn, the, yeah. who was obviously drunk. She yes. killed. She killed dance. She did. I think she brought a new sense of, um, you know, nobility to it. Okay. I, I really appreciated her energy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. you can, hey, you know what? She look, man. Different people gotta, like different look, things. Look, the thing is, is that you just gotta like love what you're doing. Different people like different things. She clearly loved what she was doing. So who are you to judge her on that? Different people like different things. It's okay. Yeah. She was like having it. a great time. Hey. I just like that she was having a good time. Hey. She definitely was. Yeah. All by herself. Different yes, people like different things. And then she tried to like hump that guy in the back a little well, bit. She did. <laughs> and that was excellent. <laughs> and he's he like, was I'm just, just trying like, to get some fucking punch, dude. Yeah, he was just like pushing her off like, oh, what, what are you he's, doing? He was like, I'm just trying to get some punch. And she's like, me too. <laughs> me too. Which kind of goes into ridiculous moments. Wow, what a natural transition. Yeah. He did it. Uh, God, he I, did it. I don't even know where to start. There's just... Okay. No, no, no. I do. It's at the very beginning. It's when Craig reaches in from the passenger side of the car through mm. the window and then flips <laughs> the headlights on. Yeah. And he doesn't lean in, like, all the way. It's, like, just his arm. Like, he just got, like, Mr. Fantastic for a second. <laughs> just flipped up those. He's Mr. like, nah, I got this. Arms. Burp. 
or Elastigirl. Elastigirl also. Yeah. It's uh, to give the a visual. It's like they took the footage and just flipped it. Yeah, absolutely. To make it look like this American muscle car was a European car. Yes. And Nick pointed that out like immediately. Hey, you know what you are when you're not in a, the bath. Wait, you know where you are when you're in the bathroom? European. That's going to get cut because you <laughs> didn't know where the fuck that was going. Wait, do you know where you are when you're in the bathroom? European. What? Hey, it's me, Patrick Warburton. <laughs> <laughs> You're appearing in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So one of the ridiculous moments that I saw was the serial killer from Too Many Cooks on Adult Swim was the custodian that was sweeping up the hallways. And that's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. It's just kind of funny. Well, yeah. Like when they when they go to kill Sill. And kill cell. They after they volume two <laughs> accidentally string her up, and she gets her head sawed in half. Then, as they're sitting there and they're cutting her body apart to make it not look like an accident, the the janitor walks in, and they're like, "Oh shit, we got caught!" And he just isn't paying attention at and all. Then he just he turns the light look up. up. Yeah, he just. Yeah. Was he doing the trash? I think is what yeah. he, he was in just there? collecting the trash by the door and whistling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like, I knew that's how the scene was gonna go. When he walked in, because I was like, there's no way that they're just going to like have to go kill him. It's unnecessary. And it was hilarious. It I was- knew it because I watched the trailer. You know what's funny, though? He probably actually saw them, and this is when he went back in time to go do too many cooks. And that's what made him a serial killer, because he saw this and was like, that looks fun. Theory. Okay. Is that is that our conspiracy theory of this episode? That's our conspiracy theory for the episode. Arguably okay. one of the best we've had. <laughs> I want to go ahead and do a shout out to the way Lowell talks. <laughs> Gonna fish on your flesh. It's he did, just he did make it sound really gross. No, it's just he. There was something so wet about every word he spoke. Yeah, or gross. It was just wet. Like he had a mouthful of slime. Mm-hmm. It's probably from all that dog food dog he was eating. Yeah, I mean dog food. Because <laughs> they definitely fed him dog food. Yeah, whenever they had him captured said, in, the, it has, in the warehouse, it's all protein. <laughs> they like slid it into him, but then he was still tied up to the chair, and they just like slid it to him. Like, How's I don't know how you're gonna eat it, but just figure it out, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's that's fair. How did he? I guess when he broke his hands free of the cord that they had him tied with, he just munched down. That on he the was fucking like, dog hell food. yeah, <laughs> dog food. I'm I'm hungry. I need to feast on some fresh. Jokes on you. This is my favorite brand. Oh, Alpo's my favorite. I love how they they abduct him and they're like, "Yeah, he's gonna teach us some stuff." And they realize really quick how bad he is. Yeah, like he was gonna be the Bruce Wayne to their Batman Beyond. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. And then and then uh, when the guy at the very beginning gets Craig, Craig gets hit with the machete, and then they stuff the. Uh, what did they put in his mouth? Just like, like a, a towel? towel? Yeah, yeah towel they stuff the towel in his mouth and they, you know, close his nose and, and he dies. They had previously been like, yeah, you were at five kills. Good for you. And then when they kill him, they're like, guess you're back at four. <laughs> like, taunting this serial killer or spree killer. Yeah, I guess. spree killer. Killer sprees. The candy. Are they chewy or hard? You know they hard. They hard. I hated the chewy one. Yeah, the chewy ones are gross. So, another ridiculous moment that I really liked is whenever Sadie points out the Elvis frog on Jordan's desk. Yeah, and he says, you, you, you ain't nothing but a hound frog. No, he didn't say that. You said that. No, he said that, and I repeated it. Did he? Yeah. Mm, yes. Okay. I missed that, I guess. Peanut gallery? Nobody cares. <laughs> but he <laughs> but he says, goddamn right, that's an Elvis Presley frog. Yeah. It's Wouldn't just, you if you had an Elvis Presley frog? You got damn right. You got damn right. It was pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I wish everyone at home could see his fucking face when he said it. He's so happy. <laughs> it was it cool. Was pretty sweet. I would have definitely had that somewhere in my room apartment. Whatever. It would have been up. It would have been up because then your, your, your room apartment. Somebody your room said. Apartment. 
when somebody said, is that an Elvis Presley frog? I'd be like, you're goddamn right that's an Elvis Presley frog. He ain't nothing but a hound frog. <laughs> so soon after that, uh, the we find out that his dad, who is the sheriff, uh-huh, uh-huh. He, he's the fucking sheriff. Yes. Can't shoot for shit. And he can't shoot for a fucking shit. No, he is a bad shot. And then uh, he Lowell. missed like three times. He was shooting at Lowell, and he missed like three times. And he was in the yeah. room. And with Sa- him. Sadie definitely like hit him first try with the knife in the foot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she definitely did. Stab him in the foot. Nobody questioned after all this why the fuck she had that knife. I mean, that thing was what six to eight inches long. Yeah. And nobody was just like, "Why do you?" <laughs> you goddamn right. It was six to eight inches <laughs> long. That, does that seem big to you? For a knife to just be carrying around as an 18-year-old girl into your boyfriend. We live in house? Texas. It's a little strange. I'm just saying we live in Texas. Like right. I can I can go to Academy and buy a Bowie knife. Yeah, you can. But to just be carrying it to your boyfriend? Who's who's checking her bag on the way? Yeah. The Wha- sheriff was asleep. <laughs> the sheriff was asleep. So we're Saying that carrying large knives is commonplace if you're not a biker. If you're a fucking murderer, yes. yeah. If you, if <laughs> that's my she, point. I'm not. Qu- I'm not saying we should be questioning him. it. I'm saying why the fuck was nobody else questioning this? Like, why did the no, sheriff not say why the fuck okay, did she have this knife? No, because when he the the knife was still in his foot, and when he jumped out the window, the knife went with him. Oh, okay. So it it went with him. Okay, yeah. I missed that. Yes. Okay, so that makes more sense because that was the knife that Michaela used later to stab the teacher. I thought they just kind of had like. It was also the knives. same knife that Sadie stabbed Toby stabbed. with. No, not well. I think they stabbed Toby with it, but they also stabbed Al with it. Yes. Yeah, I I kind of was under the impression they had like the same knife. Like I, I didn't think there was just one. Yeah, they have ten of the same knife. They could have two. Like they bought them together. Like you know, people do they, with tattoos. It did have, it like, did have a like little friendship bracelet. Friend. Yeah, you go with your friend to get a tattoo, but they're serial killers, so instead. They went and got knives. And then, and then they put the little, like... Friendship <laughs> bracelet on the <laughs> Yeah. Who else has a ridiculous moment? I do think it was ridiculous that when Johnny Knoxville, like, pushed over this, like, theater prop wall on the on uh, Lowell, and it just pinned Lowell to the ground. Yeah, for, and it definitely looked like it was not heavy at all. Yeah. He was just, like... It, it, it was just so good that it pinned him to the ground. I was like, man... No, you could probably get out from under that pretty easily. Yeah, definitely. He was just flailing around like a bug pin to a thing that you pin bugs to a collection board. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Shit. So I really like that both Sadie and Michaela are talking to Toby and Sadie is obviously like over Toby. Because he's very pretentious. He rides a motorcycle. He has a social media following that they want. Yeah, but he and Michaela, won the Hunger Games. Yeah, but, and Michaela is just all up on them nuts. He, like, she he, is just... He can paint did little you flowers. you see that sweet hog? <laughs> it wasn't so sweet after he went over the road spikes. Yeah. yeah. That, that Where was, did they get the road spikes? Is that just something you can order online? Uh, well, they had um, Jay... Steal him from his dad because oh. he's the sheriff. I just came up with that right now. I don't think that was addressed. In nope, the movie. that was, nope, that was not addressed. <laughs> Definitely connects point A to point B. Yeah, well, because sometimes we have to do it because movies don't. Yeah, Johnny Knoxville is one of the murderers. He didn't know, unfortunately. He did make their videos. He, he did. did do that. That's true. He did do that. Okay, so so when they go to kill Big Al in the gym, and their plan is because he's so strong that they're like, okay, we, we, we can't him. fight him. We have to drug him. And so Michaela, her thing is like, yeah, I'm going to like get a little bit undressed so like you can see. Him. like, Yeah, look, I'm like in my workout clothes. Look how sexy I am. And then so she's like, oh, I accidentally knocked over your water bottle. Let me go refill it for you. And she pours the fucking whatever they were going to drug him with in it. And she comes back and Sadie has now entered and 
Big Al like knows something's going on because the killer's out there, and he's like, "Oh, but I he did drink some of it." Well, but then so he started to after he was like, "Hey, somebody's here, and I got to go look." And then that's when Michaela's like, "No, hey, we should hydrate!" Like really trying to get him to <laughs> yeah, drink this shit, trying desperately for him <laughs> to drink. She his does water. does manage to get him to drink it just before Sa- uh, Sadie shows up. Yeah, and Sadie they, jumps on him. <laughs> jumps on him, and the battle ensues. It was like, he bitch, goes, he was drinking that water, and he, goes, and he was fucking them up. He goes, yeah, y'all bitches are crazy. <laughs> 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 but that was after Michaela threw like a like a, oh, yes. a dumbbell at him. Yeah, they were throwing <laughs> dumbbells and free weights. It. Yeah. Oh, that <laughs> was <laughs> fucking dope. <laughs> she throws it. It's like, yeah, take this fucker. Like, she, yeah, this is it. This is going to do it. And he just grabs it. She throws like a 40, 45 pound weight, two hands overhead at him, like soccer <laughs> style. Like she's inbounding a, a, a soccer ball. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she throws it at him, and he just grabs it one hand, like, boop, <laughs> snatches it out of the air. This is mine now. And then he throws it at, at uh, Sadie, and she dodges, and it goes out the window, at, at, like, out the, like, door. Like the door, yeah. Which is the glass weird, in the door. Which is also weird that the guy who runs the gym didn't notice that when he came to work the next morning. I'm sure he probably did. No, he didn't, because he 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 just kind of walks in and he's all cool, sets his bag down, turns around, and he's like, "Oh no, Al, Al!" And he starts crying, and he wets himself a little. Probably, wouldn't you? Yeah, for if, sure. If somebody could take down Big Al, they could take down anybody. Mm-hmm. I do like that. Speaking of Big Al. And when they're at the town hall meeting that they started chanting, like, remember Al, remember Al. <laughs> and everyone starts chanting it. And the and the sheriff is like, no, but I mean, like, and then the mayor pushes him aside and is <laughs> leaning over the podium <laughs> chanting, remember, remember Al. Al. And then she organizes this, like, this, like, mob mentality, like, march. And, and, and everybody has immediately has t-shirts that say hashtag remember Al. And then they start marching down the street and then they get bored. And then that's when they see the mayor has been spiked. She has been impaled by yeah. Vlad. Well, I mean, you have that many cheerleaders that are oh there my God. on the prom Lo- committee. They probably just like did them up real quick. They had plenty of stuff to do it. New theory. Mm-hmm. Lowell is vampire. Fuck. You know, I would be on board with that. I would, except that they shot him through the head. I don't know. A lot of the times, silver bullets. Silver bullets. That. That's true. But did they have silver bullets? They you don't never know. discussed this. You don't know. They did. Their knives look pretty ceremonial when they put the friendship bla- bracelet, bracelet, on bracelets. It. bracelets. Yeah. So maybe, yeah, maybe that's fair. Maybe that, yeah, okay. The bullets also had friendship bla- bracelets. <laughs> <laughs> bracelets. <laughs> I can't. I just want to say bracelet now. It feels right. He didn't eat the dog food. Bracelet. No, he said and he, he ate. T- no. He's, he did said, he? He he did said say, that she fed but, him dog food. We didn't see him. Maybe he just lied. And he did say he was going to eat them. Her flesh. Yep. Eat her flesh. So. Nummy, nummy, nummy. Yep. Vampire. Vampire. He definitely did say that he was going to have sex with their decapitated heads in front of their parents. As yeah. Well. That is definitely something <laughs> that a vampire, like a vampire would vampire do. Yeah, do. Yeah. Vampire I mean, like... I've seen the remake of Fright Night. <laughs> Did he watch it and find out? <laughs> I've seen the remake with Colin Farrell. Yeah. I don't remember him fucking a corpse. No, 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 no. It's just the head. Well, the parents watched. I don't remember that. Yeah. It was Anton Yelchin. I don't know, he might be <laughs> fucking with me. <laughs> it was in the Odd Thomas. Yeah. Anton Yelchin. So there's there's a moment where... What? He Johnny Knoxville. Night. Yeah. I forgot that that guy was in Fright Night. Oh. Anton Yelchin. Was he? Yeah. Was he not the friend? The I don't know. The guy that was in Anton. This Stone. doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> Anton no, Yelchin. No, don't cut it. This is important stuff. No, I'm Johnny Knoxville. So there's definitely a moment where they're at the prom, and mm-hmm. then the background after they or b- while they're announcing the king and queen yes. of the prom, it's a night to remember is the theme, and there is the sinking Titanic up on the wall. Well, and you know what's interesting about that is a uh, fun fact. Is that the year I graduated high school? Mm-hmm. Was nineteen sixty two? Yes, was the same year that Titanic came out, and our song, our class song, which we were trying to get it to be "Graduate" by Third Eye Blind, which they would not let us. Instead, we uh, had to do "My Heart Will Go On" by Celine Dion, which is from Titanic, and we had oh, sort you. of a Titanic theme to our prom, <laughs> which I was only there for a solid hour. 
A solid hour. Yeah, just for picks, and then we left. Were they to go to, his do, picks to go time? do unmentionables? Like drink. I was a good church kid, so like <laughs> we went to like a friend's house and watched movies and fell asleep. You watched Titanic. We watched Titanic and cried. But did you laugh when the guy falls off the back of the boat and hits the propeller? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it seems really <laughs> fucking funny. That's the, that's the best part of the movie. <laughs> so I have a question. Okay, I hope I have an answer. Whenever the girls kill Jordan, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jay, all of a sudden there's Maxwell. fucking black lights. Where did the black lights come from? Well, it was the kill room. Well, they they were in the uh, theater department. Yeah. Yeah, but theater departments don't usually have black lights. Yeah, they do. Well, it was the kill room. She intended to do to kill Jay there. That was obviously part of the plan. She knew that he was going to sneak up and do that. Because he was going to follow Sadie because he was obsessed. And so she wanted the black lights there for effect. Also, the, the kill room is a ceremonial thing. Can yeah, you all not watch Dexter? Yeah. Also, the uh, high school drama department was doing Godspell. So they needed the black lights. They needed the black lights. Okay, that's fair. Because every high school drama department does Godspell. Mine didn't, as far as I know, but I didn't go to <laughs> any of them. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's like, mine didn't. As far as I know, I don't, I don't I'm not really that. an authority. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't go to any shows. So what's really cool is they get a Lifetime movie out of this. They did get a Lifetime movie. And they get a book tour. A book tour. But they just want to be regular college students. Yeah. I mean, the scholarships are nice. Yeah. And then, I don't know, we just want to be regular college students. Because nobody's going to know y'all from getting super fucking famous and... Eh. I mean, they yeah, definitely you're not opened it up. Influencers or anything now. Yeah, they definitely opened it up for a sequel to the movie. Yeah, they kind of did. They left it open and did enough. Like they go to college and then it's like urban legend. <laughs> That'd be fun to watch. I would definitely watch that. That would be super fun. All right, so Nick, let's go ahead and get into ratings. What are you gonna do for this movie? I'm gonna give it a skull. Okay. Yeah, I think so. It started a little slow for me, and I was like, oh, "Can you get moving?" But after. Like, there there was a good five minutes opening, kind of low, you know, slowed down a little bit. Then it picked back up, and it was really funny and entertaining, and Craig Robinson, come on. <laughs> Let's be honest. All right. Jared, what what, are you, what rating are you going to give it? I'm definitely giving this a skull. Uh, I was the one who mentioned we watched this movie. It was just at the, the edge of what we wanted to do mm. for this podcast. I mean, it's a yeah, it's 60%. Like edging. It's movie edging. Yeah, it's movie edging. Uh, Don't come. <laughs> Don't come. Movie edging, like the millennials do. Mm-hmm. Looking at you, Nick. So this is a 60%, a 6 out of 10. And, I mean, that's basically our cutoff, right? So yeah. I've watched this before because I got bored one night and just decided to watch it. And I thought it was really fun. So I wanted everybody else to watch it, too. Nathan, what about you? Uh, I'm Johnny Knoxville, and I'm going to give this movie a skull. <laughs> I thought Tragedy Girls was super fun, very funny, had kind of a Heathers vibe to it without being like, like it borrowed things from other movies without it being a ripoff. Like there were scream, it's it's like Heathers meets Scream is what I really felt like. But without it being just ridiculous, like overkill, it borrowed elements, but didn't force them on you. Yeah. Well, there's one thing where they say, you know, oh, we stole this from Breaking Bad whenever they were putting the body parts in acid. Yeah, yeah, body parts in acid. Yeah, it was it was a movie that didn't take itself seriously, but did it in a good way. Unlike a lot of the movies that we watch that don't take themselves seriously. So it's just complete trash. Yeah. No Malone. (laughs) (laughs) The movie was awful. It was. But this movie, on the other hand is great and you should watch it yeah you watch it with your friends watch watch it alone watch it with during an orgy fuck it let's watch it with your parents oh we watch it with your grandparents put it on a watch it with your grandparents swinger friends dude you grab like a couple balloons some crack (laughs) watch it watch it in brad's sex dungeon right that's what i'm talking about man just like shoot up for the weekend watch it like 14 times party Yeah. yeah man all right, Batman I'm down orgies. <laughs> yeah, man, Batman. Crack dens. This is the this is the place to watch this movie. <laughs> Everywhere is a place to watch this movie. Watch it on your phone. Watch it on your iPad. Watch it on your non Apple streaming device. Watch it on your television. We watched it on Amazon Prime. Which no, we did not. We watched it on Hulu. We watched it on Hulu. But it was also watch on it television. on Hulu. Watch it on your Intellivision. 
Watch it urine, on your Xbox. Did you urine just say television. urine television? Yeah, urine <laughs> television. <laughs> so, Jared, what are we watching next? Next, we're going to watch The Witch's Doll. Hell yes. I'm very excited for this. It looks terrible, and I love it. Yes, absolutely. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. If you want to uh, hit at us and tell us how <laughs> dumb we are, no, hit at us, tell us how dumb we are for loving this movie, or tell us how much you love this movie, you can hit us on Facebook at facebook.com slash the squad podcast, or I don't know, like shoot us some DMs on the Twitter at Spoop Squad. I fucking hope you spoop your pants. Spoop Squad.